Hello everyone, I'm back playing disc golf. Today I'm at Taylor Lake Village. I'm here to get a quick little nine hole game in. This will be another typical, you know, best throw, you know, best of two throws basically. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. So let's uh, play. You won't be able to see it on camera, but straight ahead that way is the basket in those trees. I need to get kind of close to there, but not get stuck in a tree. Alright, the basket's straight ahead that way. Let's see what I can do to get close to it. I've got people behind me, so I need to be quick about this. Alrighty, as is typical, the basket is straight ahead. Let's go. Both are pretty decent. This is actually close enough for me to try to make it in with my putters, but I'm not that confident. This is way outside the circle, but I'm going to at least try to get close. That was my safe bid. Now I've got to run it, so this will probably go too far. Or land right on top of it. I'm used to overthrowing and having comebackers, but I'll take park putts any day. All right, so this is a bit of a weird one. You got a, a little bit of trees, very small window to throw this through. I need to get as close to the window as possible if I can't get through it. Let's see what I've got. Okay, this will not be easy to cut through, but it's closer than the other disc, which had more obstructions to the basket. Well, that's parked. Well, that's parked too. <laughs> All right, the wind is starting to kick up, but I've got a straight shot about 240 feet that away. So hopefully I can get kind of close to the basket. In theory, I should be able to park it, but I'm not that good. Not bad. All right, so technically I'm within about 20 feet. I should be able to make this, but I don't want to get my hopes up. Oof. All right, so technically the basket is out of frame because the sun is coming directly from behind it. So I have to orient the camera slightly. So you're going to see me throw, but unfortunately you're not going to be able to see the full flight path because of the angle. So. An example of the decisions I have to make. This is completely un unobstructed to the basket, but this 
disc over here has some obstruction, however it's closer. So you can kind of see, I have a decision to make, but I think I'm going to go with this one. In this case, it's a decision to go something more overstable and try to hook it around, but close enough to the basket. This peg has been altogether a better approach this for me. Than my rhino. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but about 200 feet that away is the basket. U disc says 165, but it's close to 200 and change. And there's a mando right there. Alright, here we go. Very, very close. Okay, I'm left with about 90 to 100 feet. I'm going to have to go around. How about this? Who says drivers can't be used for approach discs? Well, it'd be nice to put my putting together on the course. One of the things I like about this course is there are these red indicators pointing towards the next tee pad. So that's something to look forward to when you're at this course and you're not sure where the next tee pad is. Unfortunately, again, the sun is completely in the path of the basket. So to prevent blinding my camera, I've oriented it this way and you're not going to be able to see the full flight of my disc, unfortunately. Alright, so I tried putting under the ceiling, but I still threw it too high, unfortunately. Alrighty, so the basket is behind a whole bunch of trees, so I've got to just throw that away and eventually make my way to the basket.
All right, here's where my gazelle and my pig landed. There's the basket, so I'm going to take the pig. Let's go. Okay, I can't speak highly enough about this course. It's well maintained. The next tee pads are easy to find from the subsequent baskets. And a lot of the people are great around here. And I think someone just got a good score behind me. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. It's well maintained. The next tee pads are easy to find from the subsequent baskets. And a lot of the people are great around here. And I think someone just got a good score behind me.